All right, everybody, thank you very much for joining us today. My name is Kevin White. I'm the Chief Advancement Officer for Pope Francis High School. And uh, we have our unveiling of our signage here today at uh, the, the future site of Pope Francis. I'm proud to introduce Sister Andrea Suzuki, as best I can do, uh, our Superintendent of Schools for the Diocese of Springfield. Sister, thank you. Thank you, Kevin. First, I would like to extend the apology and the regret of Bishop Mitchell Rosinski, who unfortunately is under the weather this morning and not able to join us for this event. However, Bishop wants to make sure that everyone here, all the stakeholders who have gathered for this special event, know that he is extremely grateful for you and for the countless individuals who are making this day a reality. I would like to give you some of the updates that Bishop would have presented and those include, first of all, the fact that the Transitional Advisory Committee, under the leadership of Mr. Jim Tortolot, continues to work through and assist with the governance, structure, the mission, the vision, and the oversight of all the other tasks that are involved in this project. The Search Committee continues to work diligently to assemble the job description and to begin activities to identify the head of the school. The Pope Francis High School Building Committee, under the leadership of John Powers, continues to work with CBT architects to refine the design of the building to provide state-of-the-art learning environment for the students of the new school. The administration and the faculty and staff members of both schools, Cathedral High School and Hoyle Catholic High School, are working to merge the curriculums of both schools to be able to have the best program available for studies for the new students at Pope Francis High School. And all of this is happening while both schools, Cathedral High School and Hoyle Catholic High School, continue to operate and to provide an excellent academic and all-around experience for our students. We know that much more will be forthcoming in the future, and of course, Bishop looks forward to being present at those events. Thank you. Thank you. We just want to come right here so I can have our students come in here. Okay. Sister on this side. Okay. Thank you. And you want to, you can help pull the little finish down. Ready? Okay. Ready? Okay. There it goes. Just pull it right down. Oh, there, there you go. <laughs> It's now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Paul Gagliarducci, who's the executive director of the Pope Francis High School Project. Dr. Gagliarducci. Thank you, everyone. Um, it's, um, it's certainly a, a proud day to be here. Um, someone asked me about uh, what's going on this morning, and I said that about a month ago, we decided that it was time to tell people we really were going to come here. So. Uh, these, this, this morning is, uh, to, for us, uh, just an exciting day. Um, and I want to thank all the people from the press, the parents that are here, the students who, uh, they don't mind being here because they get out of the class, but uh, they're, they're, this, this is who it's all about. And we have uh, students who represent freshmen who will be the uh, first group that will hopefully uh, graduate out of this building. And then we have our students uh, from one of our elementary schools, St. Michael's Academy, who will be the group that will spend all of their four years in this school. I also want to recognize that uh, Frank Ryan from the uh, Forest Park Civic Association. And Frank, uh, we're glad that we're getting these signs up. So, uh, I, I just want to make mention, uh, you see three members of our TAC committee, uh, Pat Garrity, Michelle Damore, and the leadership of Jim Tarlat. What has impressed me the most has been the uh, volunteer spirit. We have several very active committees going. Uh, probably 30, 35 people have come forward working on different aspects and their enthusiasm for this project. Uh, really, we really haven't focused enough on that, but it is important for you people to know that. We are going to show you a couple of renderings. Uh, the pictures that we showed when we first uh, had the announcement several months ago, we had asked the architects to conceptually come up with something, and they did that for us, and we were really glad. Now we've gotten into the real nitty-gritty, um, and I will tell you that um, we've gone everywhere from six potential designs. We're now down to two, 
and frankly, we're really focusing on one. Um, but we wanted to show you at least to, to give the public a sense that we are moving forward. Um, so uh, Kevin, we'll just turn these around. Uh, get, just know, for example, that these are just conceptual designs. Uh, they don't represent the, uh, the actual design yet. Uh, you work in a process when you do this work. Uh, and you start with everything from uh, meeting with the faculty, getting a sense of how many classrooms, what kinds of classrooms we're going to need, what are the other demands that, that we have for the building, uh, the gymnasium, the auditorium, which we hope will be a very active um, uh, facility for the, not only for the school, you know both, uh, there's tr tremendously proud heritage at Hoyle Catholic for their performing arts program, and the same t t can be said for the cathedral past program. So these two programs will meld together, um, and, and we're really hoping that uh, this auditorium not only fills their needs, but the needs of the diocese as well. Um, the size of the gym, we have tremendous athletic history in both schools. A uh, beautiful chapel will be built in the school, uh, a learning center, i.e. what used to be called a library, the, the classrooms, um, all those things are being designed and so far we've come up with uh, the architects have shown us these two potential uh, uh, concepts of what the building might look like. Very rough, so don't, don't think this is what it's going to look like and ask questions like, well, how come this is this and this was over here? That's really not where we're at. We're more at a conceptual design. And don't forget, we also have to fit a full purpose field, which would be a turf field and a track, six tennis courts, a baseball diamond, softball diamond, and one or two, uh, hopefully at least one, maybe more practice fields. We have to fit all that and this building, what's behind the fence here. So a lot of work to be done oh, and, and parking and a lot of work to be done. So we're really excited about that. Um, so Kevin, next. All right, thank you, Paul. Uh, we have one final piece of business. The sister could join me up here. Since Bishop was unable to make it, if I could have uh, the two students from Holyoke Catholic. We have a little present. If sister could pass it along oh, to Bishop. Wonderful. It's uh, our first official Pope Francis Great. polo shirt. Thank and uh, you. you could proudly present that to Bishop thank Rosansky. Thank you the Bishop. I thank you thank for you. this. Accept it. You can all see the new logo. Thank you. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you. And sister will close uh, our event. At this time, I'd like to close with prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, source of all that is good, we thank you for the many blessings you have granted us on this our journey to this wonderful event, the site constru of construction for the new Pope Francis High School. We ask you to bless all those who have any way contributed to this reality. The volunteer members of the committees, our board members, our families, our students, all those who have stayed the course and will continue to stay the course, and for those who will join us. We thank you also for the ability to make all of this information known to the public so that together we can celebrate, enjoy, and go forth with you being our guide on this journey. We ask this through our Lord Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, sister. Thank you very much for joining us today. Have a good day.